Hey, this is Lewis from SoFly. In this video, I'm going to show you Oxygen's layout engine, and then I'm going to show you why it's better than Beaver, uh, Divi, and Elementor. So let's start in Oxygen by uh, just creating that classic heading and button call to action layout. So you add a heading, you add a button. Now you want to control the alignment, click the section, and we can just go left, center, right, you want this to be a horizontal layout instead of a vertical layout. You go horizontal. Now you can go center, space between, space around. So as you can see, creating those layouts, horizontal and vertical, is done in like you know 15 seconds just to click. If you want to adjust the spacing, you just click on an element, mouse over the edge, click and drag down, and that's how we adjust spacing. So that's how easy it is with Oxygen. Now I'm going to show you how much harder it is to do the same thing uh, using the competition. So let's go ahead and uh, see how to do this with Beaver. So I've got Beaver Builder here. Um, we'll go ahead and add in a row, single column row. That's equivalent of a section in Oxygen, basically. And then in here, we'll add in a heading. Um, I don't know, welcome to something click it and then a button and now let's say we want to create a layout like this so in oxygen again it's just you just control the alignment of everything in your section at one time with beaver um this section if we go to the settings for the row we actually don't have alignment controls as you can see so you have to actually click each individual element, go to style, and then change the alignment. Let's drag this over there so we can see a little better. You gotta click the button, go to style, change the alignment. It even takes a second to update too. Now let's say you want to adjust the spacing. Again, in oxygen, you just click and up and down. Easy. Uh, in Beaver Builder, you have to actually click the element you want to adjust spacing for, go to Advanced, and then edit the margins. So you can either type in a value or you can click these little arrows to increase the value. For some reason, that isn't... Okay, yeah, no, that works. It maybe is just... Yeah, it doesn't update when you're moving it. Okay, but anyway, so that's how you would do that in Beaver Builder. So as you can see, it's quite a bit more difficult than it is to do the same thing in Oxygen. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at Elementor next. So in Elementor, you add a section, single column in the section. Let's go ahead and add in a heading. And then we'll go ahead and add in a um, button. Where is button? So there's the button. So now if I go to the section, um, where is the section? Okay, here's the section. So at least in Elementor, um, we have vertical content position, but that doesn't really help us here. We don't have alignment here. It's not in the style tab. It's not even in the advanced tab. So actually we'd have to go here and I guess align it like that. And for the button, I must be doing this. Oh yeah, you gotta click center like that. And then that aligns the button center. So as you can see, it's just much more difficult to align the items here because you can't control the alignment of the items in the section globally with Elementor. Now, if you want to add spacing in Elementor, again, you can't just drag. You'd have to actually go to your heading, go to uh, Advanced, and then add margin to the bottom. Oops, I added margin on all sides there. We only want it on the bottom. But yeah, so that's how you would add um, Adjust Spacing Elementor. Again, remember in Oxygen, just like that. Um, and in Divi, uh, the story is similar. Here, we uh, will add a new row here. It's like they all kind of copied each other, honestly. Um, here's Divi. We'll go ahead and add in a heading. I like the search for 
Divi. Where is a headline, though? Do I not? This isn't Divi's fault. I'm just not that familiar with Divi. Um, so added some text. This is my headline. And I'll make that bigger in a minute. And then we'll go ahead and add in, sorry, not a row. We want to add in a Where do I add in a new module? That's a section. And Divi is failing. Okay, let's try again. That button was hidden for whatever reason. Let's try to add a button first. Click here, and then let's add the heading. See, this button was behind the green thing, so I couldn't click it. That's really unfortunate. Maybe just a little UI bug. Where is headline? Okay, I don't know where headline is. So text, we'll just use text. Um, click my button. The div UI is kind of clunky, as you can see. So let's reorder this. There we go. So to control the alignment of the stuff in this uh, row, so you go to the row settings, design alignment, and you click center. And actually that doesn't do anything. Okay, Divi, I thought you were better. Um, okay, how about we go to the button? Let's put this on the side so you can see what's going on. Okay, how do I adjust the settings for the button? No, I click the button and then I am off the page. Um, Okay, button, settings, your design, alignment, button alignment center. So again, you got to align the individual items. Man, Divi's user interface is just making me angry here. So I may not do a full comparison with Divi because I think it's pretty obvious that Divi is not even in this competition. Yeah, fuck you, Divi. That is a real shame. Okay, uh, just be for an elementor. <laughs> So let me show uh, now horizontal layout. This is where oxygen really starts to shine. So um, okay, let's get the uh, spacing off that. And let's go ahead and align the items in this section horizontally. So this is sort of a common sort of layout you'll see where it says something like, uh, click the button to learn more. And then the button is, you know, whatever the call to action is, watch video, whatever it is. So here um, you got space around. You got space between, sorry, there was no spacing right there. Space around, space between, center, left, right. And if you want to adjust the spacing, you could just click and then, you know, drag like that to adjust the spacing. That way, if you don't want to just use space between or space around. So as you can see, we've done this in this section. We don't have any columns going on here. It's just a matter of switching from vertical to horizontal. Now, in Beaver Builder, there is no such option to actually create a horizontal layout like that. So the way to do it is uh, you need to use columns. So we'd actually, we'll go ahead and add a two column row here. And then I'd have to put my button in um, the right row and my text in the left row. And then what we could do is adjust the alignment in here. For example, if I wanted an effect like uh, space between, then I would take this text and I would go to alignment. I would align the text on the left and then I take the button and I'd align the button um, on the right. Did I do that right? Yeah, exactly. So that's how you would get um, something like this in oxygen. So you, as you can see again in oxygen, um, it's just much easier. Um, and then imagine that this was uh, this text was pretty big. Say, I don't know, maybe this was like, uh, and we wanted it to be, let's say they were closer together like this, or maybe even like this. And you want to center this button vertically. So you can go align top, bottom, middle. Just that easy to click like that. Whereas um, in Beaver Builder, you got to go over to the, um, the row settings. So that's the heading setting. So we got to, you got to get, sorry, the column settings. So you got to click here, go to column settings. 
And then you can choose to equalize the column heights. Um, I think there's somewhere where you can control the alignment of the stuff in the columns. I'm not sure where that is, but it can be done. It can be done. It's just way less straightforward than these simple layout controls that Oxygen has. Now, let's all let's check out how to do a horizontal layout in Elementor. Um, and it's really the same thing uh, in Elementor because you can't stack the contents of a section horizontally. Uh, what you have to do is actually add a section with this column structure and then add in your heading on one side and your button on the other. And then Elementor 2, for example, you can go in this column. Uh, sorry, where is the... How do I get to the column settings? That's a section. Well, anyway, you can control the content position. Like we go middle and then it'll align in the middle, as you can see. If we want to align this button right, we click the button, go over to the right like that. So it can be done. It's just a little bit harder than that or this or that. So anyway, that's just the main difference between Oxygen and Beaver and Elementor's layout engines. I hope you like what you see. Probably after watching this video, you're going to go buy Oxygen. There's a lot more in Oxygen that beats these other guys too, uh, which I will be showing you. I may do some other comparisons with Divi as well. Uh, it just kind of crapped out on me that time. So maybe that was just bad luck. I know a lot of people like Divi. Um, but I also know a lot of people that were using Divi have bought Oxygen and say they like it a lot better. Um, anyway, again, this is Lewis from SoFly. Uh, I hope you have a good day and a good rest of your life. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Sorry, I'm back. I forgot to show you one of the best features in where Oxygen really gives the competition a smackdown, and that is responsive. So let's say that we have one of these typical, you know, horizontal call to action style layouts. For example, learn more about the thing by doing whatever. Okay, that's long enough. And then we got this button. So this layout, uh, once we start to get narrower, it's going to get a little cramped, right? And that doesn't look so good. So what we're going to do is since we're editing the styles for this size, we're just going to say stack vertically at that size. And we're even going to click this and go ahead and add a little bit of space on, um, on mobile like that. So now it stacks, you know, horizontally on desktop, horizontally at less than 1120. And then less than 992, we've created styles here. That's why it's highlighted in blue and stacks vertically. You change the alignment to, you know, you go left, right, you know, center, whatever. Um, so that's how it works. Um, that's really simple and straightforward. Now let's see if you want to do the same thing with Beaver. So with Beaver, um, we got our layout like this. Um, to get a responsive preview, you got to go over here to preview layout. And then you can choose your different device size like this and like this. I mean, what happens is it stacks the columns vertically on mobile. Uh, but it's just not, let's say this heading was a little longer, right? It's like, let's say, let's make it fair. So let's say this was like big like this. So longer heading. And let's make this text bigger too. Say, this is nice. You can just, uh, it doesn't actually, ah, uh, it does change the size. So that's nice. Okay. And then we got to drag this to actually make it fit, right? Okay. So now we've got a similar layout. Let's say we go down to... Um, preview on a smaller device. Well, it sort of, it should be stacking vertically at this screen resolution already, right? Because otherwise this text wraps and we don't want that. Um, so to actually make it, sorry, so to actually make it stack vertically, we have to go into the column settings. Um, so we have to go to column settings here, and then we have to go to um, responsive layout, and say on medium device width, or where do you stack vertically? Stacking, there's somewhere you can stack it vertically. Maybe you go medium device width. Yeah, we can make it 100% width on a medium device. And I think we maybe we might not have to do the same thing to the other one. Um, there may be a setting to stack vertically that I don't, I don't know about. But either way, you have to go into the column settings. No, that didn't do it. But this isn't Beaver Builder's fault. You just have to go into the column settings and tweak this stuff to get it to work. It can be done. It's just with Oxygen. You just choose your device, edit the settings. 
Like it's that simple. Here we got this left alignment because I left, see, I got that margin on the button from uh, over here, remember? So let's say we want to align it left. We're going to take that margin off. We just drag it away. Perfect. So it's just a lot easier in Oxygen. Um, Elementor is pretty much the same story here. So let's say we got this text. Um, let's make it bigger. Come on, where's my font size? I don't know where the font size is. Oh yeah, typography, okay. Oh, so you got this, so now you gotta make the column wider so it actually fits. See, in Oxygen, you don't have to rely on columns to create layouts like this. Oxygen has wonderful columns functionality, much better than these. I won't show it now, but you don't, all, you don't have to use it to create a horizontal layout like this. You only have to use it when you want columns. So here we got this, and then if we go on to responsive mode, um, you see we got this thing again where it should be stacked vertically and it's not. So again, what we got to do is go into the column settings and um, we just got to set the column. We can change, you know, the column width, say like 100% on mobile, and then we could, you know, do the same thing for this column as well. And then we could change the alignment to middle. Oh no, sorry, that's vertical alignment. So the horizontal alignment, we'd have to go here and then change the alignment on mobile to center. So it's good, it can be done. It's just with oxygen, again, boom, 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 boom. It's just, you're just gonna be able to design pages a lot faster. And also you don't have to deal with all these wonky columns. There's a lot of extra HTML markup in here to do your columns. When it gets more complex, things just are gonna start to get messy. With Oxygen, you just got this nice, clean, visual control of layout with really these two simple controls, which are vertical alignment and horizontal alignment. Okay, I should wrap the video here, but I'm actually gonna show one more thing, which is really a nightmare to do in Beaver and Elementor, but super easy in Oxygen. So it's really common where you have a layout, you've probably seen this a lot, where you got some sort of heading, and then maybe you got your you know, product video, it's like a homepage hero section or whatever, um, and then you got two buttons below the video, like call to actions. So the buttons are going to be stacked horizontally, right? A button on the left and then a button on the right. So how do we stack items horizontally inside this section, which is stacked vertically? So what we do is we're going to actually add a div. This allows us to divide up the layout into smaller pieces. So let's drag some spacing onto that div. And then inside this div, we're going to add two buttons, add a button, another button. And let's go back up to the div. And we're just going to set this div to stack horizontally. So now we've created a horizontal layout inside a vertical layout. Let's go ahead and different color, add a little bit of space there, and add a little bit of space here. And see, now we got a vertical layout, the horizontal layout inside of it. And again, making this mobile responsive super easy, right? Uh, that's a little cramped there. So let's say in here we're going to stack vertically and we're going to kill the margin there and we're going to add some margin here and bingo, right? It's that easy to just make your layout responsive and oxygen. Doing this with Beaver Builder, I'm not going to show it now because it's just going to take too long, but it'd be, you know, you add a heading, you add a video, and then you're going to have to add a second row below the first row, add two columns, put one button in each column. With Elementor, it's exactly the same thing. I personally think Elementor is a little bit easier to use in Beaver, so you could do it slightly faster. But you're still, you're dealing with the same thing. Whereas with Oxygen, again, it's just, you know, choose your media query, tweak your styles, go responsive, vertical, horizontal, easy as cake. So, okay, again, this is Lewis uh, from SoFly. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you like what you see. And also, uh, check out our other videos because I'm going to be making, well, by the time you're watching this, there are going to be a lot of videos where I'm giving the competition a complete smackdown and showing you how you're really missing out if you're not using Oxygen uh, to design your websites.